Holy moly, that is cool. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my videos. What I got over here is a actual wingman shell ejecting foam dive blaster and take a look at this. Oh yeah, it is just as cool as Mac Potato because they actually sent us this blaster for today's video. Mac Potato is a local militia online foam dot blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dot blaster just like this guy over here. If you guys are interested with one of these, all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, 30 small darts, 12 shells, and a manual. This is how you put the tiny darts into the shells. Push the lever to pop up the cylinder, and this is how you load the shells into the blaster. Pop it back in, pull down the lever at the back, and you are ready to go. Push down the cylinder lever to drop the shells. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, this blaster itself, the aesthetic and everything definitely is a wingman blaster from Apex Legend. Love the white orange black color scheme. I mean not just the outlook of the blaster, even the mechanism of this blaster feels like a wingman. Well I guess you guys have seen a lot of those uh, wingman blaster mods out there, but never that I expected I can actually get an actual wingman blaster today with the wingman mechanism. Oh yeah! And not to mention that the build quality of this blaster is absolutely amazing. At first, I thought that this is going to be one of those like, you know, ABS plastic kind of a shenanigan. But surprisingly, this entire blaster is actually made out of a combination of nylon and metal. And I was like, wow, that was pretty heavy. I mean, of course, it is not as heavy as a, a real firearm or something like that, but this is pretty heavy for a toy. And not to mention that this thing is super solid. The entire body of the blaster, even the mechanism itself, is actually made out of nylon, the trigger, the priming lever, the lever that pop up the cylinder, as well as the entire mechanism is made out of metal. And seems like it doesn't really come with aluminum barrels. And yes, I did just say cylinder. This, my friend, is a shell ejecting revolver style blaster and it uses one of these uh, proprietary revolver shells which is pretty similar with my previous Webley blaster and yes I did just say that this is a proprietary shell it is not into usable but unlike the Webley blaster this blaster actually uses one of these uh, tiny basic darts that you usually find in one of those Amazon cheap shell ejecting Glock but hey due to the aesthetic of the blaster I'm not against it the most important thing of all revolver blaster is the sensations of putting the shell into the cylinder. I mean, wow, I just love putting shells into these revolver cylinders. The maximum capacity of this cylinder is six shells. And here comes one of my favorite parts, the shell ejection part. I mean, more of a shell dropping than a shell ejection because, you know, you actually need to drop the shells like downwards. I mean, take a look at this guy. Oh yeah, that feels so so good guys! And of course, in order to prime the blaster, you have to pull this lever down. And it is actually pretty light. I'm not expecting some pretty high FPS out of this. Just like what you would expect from a revolver style blaster over here, when you actually pull this, you know, priming lever, it actually spins the cylinder. When the blaster is not primed, even pulling the trigger spins the cylinder too. And by the way, the trigger pull of this blaster is actually satisfyingly smooth. And not to mention that the grip of the blaster is actually pretty comfortable for big hands like mine. And not to mention that the weight and balance of this blaster is actually pretty suitable for blaster spinning. The Picatinny rail situation of this blaster, uh, unfortunately, we do not have any Picatinny rails on top or on the bottom of the blaster. We only have a pair of iron sight on top of the blaster for your aiming. But here comes the weird part. Like it is all good when you try to, you know, aim the blaster like this. But when you are trying to do one of those uh, cool burst mode, well, it's kind of annoying that the cylinder actually goes with the mechanism. The front iron sight actually raises upward, which makes aiming this blaster extremely awkward. You can't really align the rear iron sight and the front iron sight. So I guess this is still the best way to aim with the blaster. So yep, I guess that's all of the quirks and features of this blaster. So without further ado, enough of me talking, let us go test the blaster out.
Okay, okay, we are back guys. So I guess the performance of the blaster is actually not that high. It is actually expected because these are one of those uh, collector's blaster. As usual, most of these collector's blaster doesn't really have high FPS. The blaster over here can only shoot from 54 FPS all the way to 63 FPS only. Pretty close with one of those uh, Nerf Elite standard, maybe slightly lower. The accuracy of the blaster in 3 to 5 meters is just okay. It's not the best. Well, you can really expect much when the blaster comes with one of these uh, tiny little dots because these tiny dots are pretty notorious on their just okay accuracy but nevertheless you can still hit the target in four to five meters just that you might not be able to get good groupings other than that operating this blaster is pretty smooth i did not encounter any jams yet which is of course a good thing and of course last but not least the blaster also passes the wall test with flying colors and the only major complaints from me is of course you know the a aiming of this blaster when you actually you know try to aim it in this mode is actually pretty awkward and it's kind of hard to aim as well because the barrel is located downwards and the iron sight is so high up there and one more thing that i found that it is a little annoying maybe not you it's just me and when you actually try to look cool and stuff you know pulling the lever over here the cylinder pop out as well so if you want to run this blaster in burst mode you will have to you know put your hand on the cylinder over here to prevent it from you know popping out and pull the lever yeah, that's how it works. So yep, I guess that's all of the blaster. If you guys like this video, feel free to smash the like button. And of course, don't forget that I will be posting video every Saturday and once in a while on Wednesday. And one more thing that I would like to announce that instead of your regular Saturday shout out, why not ask me a question in a comment and I will try to answer it at the back of the video. That's much more interesting, right? So yeah, definitely remember to smash the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And of course, Gordon's checking out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys! Yeah. 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 Yeah.